If I can't call my sister, might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're useless? Why would I say that? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's a brand new day. We've done day one investigation of the fourth trial of this game, and we're going to continue on to day two of the trial. Yeah, here we go. Investigation trial. Here we go. Boom. Turn about goodbyes. So our prime suspect is actually none other than our very own Miles Edgeworth. I don't think he did it. Probably a setup of some sort, if I had to guess. December 26th, 9.44 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number two. Let's go. He does not look happy. He never looks happy. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Oh. Karma is the as the prosecutor now. We don't have Edgeworth anymore. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Including lying? How dare he? Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to, pr to prosecute. I'm glad he said prosecute, not prostitute. That would be something entirely different. Edgy relax, by the end this will be on trial. <laughs> he will be on trial. <laughs> what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Uh. So, so he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get, get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess it's something like Mia was... I guess that's something like Mia was to me. I know how to say words. I'm very good at words. What are you talking about? Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh. You could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Edgy boy, no! I don't think he did it. I think he's being set up in some way. Just a courtroom number three. At least we've never been late for a trial, so there's that. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Karma. He looks fun. And he's got the same, like, that Edgeworth has. Let's see where the inspiration comes from. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. I think he- I think he killed the dude. I'm pretty sure this is the killer. I mean, look at him. He's terrifying. Somebody uses teenage employees' psychic powers to channel the ghosts of my dead legal team, but it's still on cooldown. <laughs> what? You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. I don't know why the judge is always like... The 
decisive evidence, a decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Er, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I, su how am I supposed to fight against this? A judge is actually here against his will. I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now! Oh my god, he's scary! <gasps> yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Er, please take a look at the map. Okay, we haven't seen this before. Murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. That doesn't sound right. Because the death happened at 2.15. What would happen in those five minutes? Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. I'm calling shenanigans. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Overhead map of Gord Lane. Testify to the court about the arrest, now. Wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Wrong! There is on only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes of course you're quite right. No, he's not. <sighs> this guy is scary. The arrest of Mitch Mr. Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. The next morning, you say? Anything could have happened to that body in the... Eight hours or so, it was probably in the lake. Hmm, I see very well. Begin your cross examination, attorney, now. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. So let me just take a look at this stuff again. Okay. So there's the entrance on the bottom left. Go to where there's um, someone selling hot dogs. Then there's the boat rental place, and then the car, the camping and stuff. A man called it in? Yeah, who called it in? That's a good question. I'm just gonna press every statement, because so far pressing doesn't count against me at all. I received a call from a man. Er, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard two gunshots, right? Oh god. Did you hear that? It sounded like... Objection. That was terrifying. Is his voice actually that like that? Jesus. Objection. Different people. There were two witnesses. Oh. Oh, really? Ugh. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping. A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? Oh. 
How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is, get there quick. Oops, I'm sure. That's terrifying. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next salary's next year's salary review. Oh my god. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Yes, sir. That's where I found Mr. Edgeworth. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yeah, yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. Now, I didn't suspect anything of him at all. Why didn't you think he was sus suspicious? You should know. We have a deep, trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Mm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue, now. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. A single bullet? Why were there two shots then? He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Pistol bullet found in the victim's body fired from a 22 caliber pistol. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? Sometime on the 24th or 25th, cause one bullet to shot to the heart. Wait, didn't we see a thing that... Take it automatically at 12.15 a.m. Yeah, so if there were two shots heard at 12.10 a.m., then the camera should have taken two photos. What happened to the other photo? Did she say there were two photos? Because she only gave us one photo. Article about a monster sighted at Ford Lake. 22 caliber pistol. So, like, I'm not a gun expert at all. So, um, if they found the murder weapon in the boat, wouldn't they see signs of the gun having recently fired? Like, the gun barrel would be warm, or there's, like, gunpowder in the barrel or something like that. I'm sure that's gonna come up later, but I'm just trying to speculate a little bit. gonna miss it bad they should yes so it, it'll probably come up later the murder weapon a pistol detective gumshoe that is a vital piece of information please revise your testimony right so sorry your honor the murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence nick doesn't it seem like Detective Gumshoe is being a little vague? I bet Von Karma is feeding him lines. His testimony is probably filled with landmines just waiting for me to press. What do we do? 
Grit our teeth and press, I guess. What else can we do? Well said, Nick. You're the man. Oh, here we go. 30 minutes after midnight. So how come no one called... When they heard two gunshots at like 12.10, 12.15, how come no one else called the cops in like the 15, 20 minutes in between? They're like, oh, there are some gunshots. I should call the police. Yeah, I heard gunshots 20 minutes ago. Oh yeah, the murder's probably long gone by now. They should, yes, we definitely need to press the weapon, exactly. It doesn't make sense. Received a call from a man. Objection. That's terrifying. Two different people, obviously. Two, two witnesses. Yeah, we got the same dialogue. I was just double checking. Because we already um, pressed on this statement, so I just want to see if there's anything different. I'm going to take, take a picture. 15 Found in the victim's body Had to save the crime as fast as it could I already pressed this so I'm not going to press it again I didn't suspect anything of them and ne Next morning my body was found In the lake did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered. It was shot fatally through the heart. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Ah, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Hand. Wait, but in the preview, wasn't he holding it in his left hand? Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm just trying to grasp at anything. <laughs> I am a defense attorney, damn it! I'm gonna try and prove that he's not guilty. What? Order! Order! So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accept it into evidence. The murder weapon, 22 caliber, fired three times. Bears prints from Edgeworth's right hand. Members of the court. We now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. I yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Check the evidence. Wait, what? Well, this isn't good, is it? Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, judge, you do it. M me? Ahem. 
Elusive markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see w which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Wait, wasn't he wearing gloves, though? Wait. Can I, can I watch my own VOD and see if he was wearing gloves? Would that be cheating? I'm gonna watch my own glove. I was like, wait, wasn't Edgeworth wearing gloves at the time? Okay, yeah, so left hand. Holding in the left hand, probably a different hand, probably wearing gloves. Uh-oh. Mary Crimbus. Fires a shot. Uh-oh. Now it's just one penis. And now the right hand. I should have noted that last time, but I was like, clearly there's something going on here. So now I know that there's definitely something fishy going on. Order, order. All right, so yeah, that's something good to keep in mind. Do, do we have a way to like look back at that? So the gun, the, the gun that was fired was being held in someone's left hand. And also people's hearts are up here. But also, the, I don't know how much this matters, but they were like holding the gun down here and it looks like they were shooting it straight out in front of them, which from my opinion, from my experience is not at the level of someone's heart. We're gonna have to save scum the, f the hell out of this, probably. I haven't saved since the beginning of this trial. I mean, trial on day two, I mean. Order, order. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge, I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However, you wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess which will last 10 minutes. Judge? Y yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess, now. But wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Oh my god. You are the judge in this case. You have the power, your honor. The honorable Mr. Judge. What the hell is his name? I don't even know. He doesn't have a name because he's not important. This court will take a 10 minute recess. But the thing is, right? I haven't had a chance to 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 do anything yet. All I did was cross-examine. But I haven't said anything myself yet. <sighs> I'm calling shenanigans. Who's running this court anyway? Wait, we can't object to Gumshoe. I, I didn't actually present any evidence, though, did I? I probably should have presented evidence. I probably would have been smarter. The thing is, I didn't present any evidence. All I did was that I pressed. I only pressed. I didn't present anything yet. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Um, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot the man was the person in the photo. The only person who could have shot them? Are you sure about that? Yeah, so this is just a silhouette, right? So we can't tell exactly... Um... We can't tell if they're holding up their right or left arm because it's basically just a silhouette right now. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. 
What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other men fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You, you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. How am I gonna convince anyone of that? Say, Maya? Huh? What? what Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry, it's no good. Ugh. I know. I, I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I m might as well not be here, right? Yeah? You're useless? Why would I say that? No, I need you here. That's so mean. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. Then why is she my partner? She's 17. She doesn't know anything. She's never been to law school. Why... Why... Why is she working with me again? We saw you in the cutscene holding the gun. What are you talking about, man? Just because he was holding a gun, that doesn't mean anything. Because, like, I'm already noticing all of these plot holes, but I can't present any of this yet, can I? What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Aw, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is gonna run out. Really? Whoa, right? Don't jinx the case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. There we go. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Lot of heart, you are a research student at a university? That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Very well. Your testimony, please. Is it a problem that I didn't have a chance to present any evidence during Gumshoe's testimony? That might be important. Witness account. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. Yeah, left hand. Definitely left hand. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge. She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, except it is evidence. Is that a different photo? Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. But like I said, if that happened the moment of the murder, then why are there still two people up there? You can see shit, Lotta, stop lying. Why the fuck you lying? Order, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order. I will have order. 
Well, Judge? The evidence is decisive. No, it's not! Unreliable witness! What is this? I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, the court finds the defendant. Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or do you claim to have found a contradiction in your testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick? Contempt? Contempt of court, you know? I guess I understand. Well, what are you gonna do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? Yep. Uh, I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Cat, save. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Cross-examination! Alright. Let me do a save. Save for the love of God. I saved, okay? We're saves coming. Just after midnight, I reckon. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, yes. I know you want to find contradictions, but really. Hmm. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. I was in my car. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait, what? Hey, I'm the one who says that. <sighs> what are you doing, bro? You don't just give in like that, bro, judge. Y you have to take control of your own courtroom. My goodness. You were the one in control, too, so take freaking control. <laughs> Well, then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. I heard this bang come up from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? No. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Not leisurely chat with the witness. Ugh. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at that picture. Clear enough for you? No, not really. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. On karma, I think I hate you. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? 
There wasn't nary a thing on the lake for that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake. It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. No, we haven't! But, Your Honor... You keep, you keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts. No! <gasps> By holding- No! And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, 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 huh. Nick! A lot of testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? No, we haven't! Go back! I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. No! Hold it! Wh who was that? It was me. Maya! Is something wrong? D did you need to use the facilities? No. No, I do not. Lotta Hart, your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Lotta, did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down. The quorum does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lotta. What's the big deal? Treat me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it. I saw Edward. Enough. Judge. Declare the defense in contempt of court. Yes. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. But I wasn't the one who outburst. It was Maya. What are you talking about? No. No. Wait. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Exactly. I'm not gonna save scum and go backwards until I know that I am not going to win this right now. Okay? Maybe this is going exactly how it's supposed to go right now. Maybe I'm doing everything correctly. Nick is innocent. Ha. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong. Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said clearly she saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. <laughs> well, I didn't even do that. Order, order, order. Order! You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. No. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. <gasps> yes! He's taking control again! What? Miss Lotta Hart was made a has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he is in contempt of court. No, I am! If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. Maya Faye, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. M Maya. Well, this just got interesting, didn't it? Puh, I do not care for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. 
I do not tolerate badgering of my witness. I'm running out of time. I better find a contradiction here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. But what about the other man? Yeah, what about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it. If you can. Mr. Wright, I have to assign you a pen- What? Damn. Okay, now pressing every single statement goes against me. That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. How can you tell from a photo like this? Oh, that's literally it? That one statement? How can you see it clearly when this photo that was closer is very blurry? Like, what's up with that? I'm gonna present this. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? You got what? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? Got him! Pew 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 pew! Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Of course. I said I I said I could and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard the noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. Say, no problem. Binoculars, you say? Hmm. You use binoculars. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. I think before we start the cross-examination, we'll have to take a quick 90-second recess. Because we have an ad break, and I don't want anyone to miss this. So I will see you in 90 seconds. <laughs> 